What is going on guys? This is Bacchus Guy again with another video. In this video today we are going to talk about a couple, well actually a build that I just recently put together. And this build is more of a support build, I'm not going to lie to you. So basically it's power preservation with kinetic siphon, rock and grenade kickstart, momentum transfer with bolstering detonation, charged up, emergency reinforcement. Then we got insulation, innervation, recuperation with bomber, outreach, and another outreach. So double outreach there. Um, and then for the super, well, the subclass itself, whisper of fissures, whisper of refraction, whisper of durance, and whisper of torment with bleak watcher and frost pulse. So essentially with this build it's very good for like abilities and stuff um of course i'm not gonna get too close to the enemies because the last time i did i guess i ran into an ingram on accident and then someone some warrior came into my comments and said that uh i was just making a build just to like clickbait or what have you so i just want to show you guys how fast the abilities regen and also let me go ahead and just show you the weapons that i'm using so wither horde is a big essential build it's our orb generator inner loop uh, with compulsive reloader and bolt shot and dimensional hypo troy cho <laughs> that's a word <laughs> with envious assassin and chain reaction so basically right with envious assassin defeating targets with other weapons before drawing this one transfers ammo to the magazine from reserves and then chain reaction obviously with this being a compressed wave frame uh, the reason why I'm making this build is literally just for support and support only. Um, and that's really it. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to show is how much the, uh, the heavy weapon can get overcharged as far as, like, its actual stuff with I mean, Assassin. I'm wasting this. This doesn't really matter. Alright. So. I don't think I got Envious Assassin of Proc, to be honest. So, for me, personally, with this having bolt shot and compulsive reloader, guys, I highly recommend shoot one enemy like I just did and then immediately reload it because overall it'll have a better effect. And again, this build, as you can tell, is mainly for ad control. Like, I know that I'm dying here, but I'm, I'm, I don't really care. I'm just showing you guys how it works. Um, the reason why I rock the GL, so the GL is actually overcharged by nine. That's actually huge. So with the GL, you know, obviously it has chain reaction, so it's going to be good for ad control as well. Um, another thing it'll be good for is getting your super back, right? Because with your super uh, and this chest piece right here, Mantle Battle Harmony, gain super energy on elemental weapon t like takedowns. So you'd basically want to rock this, see a big group of enemies, pop it in there, get that ad control, get the chain reaction going. And also, you can use Inner of Loop with Compulsive Reloader and Volt Shot. And then mix that in with Wither Horde. Wither Horde obviously being your, your uh, orb generator. And as I said before, this is all about control. Like th That's what this whole entire build is built around. It's about controlling enemies. And it's about helping your teammates. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm just going to waste my abilities here. So let me toss that out. So as you can see, we barely got any energy back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my melee, you cause melee damage, and then I pop my rift. As you can see, both of those got a huge bump in region, and that's without me even, like, killing anything. So if I find a way or make this build more potent, I should say, uh, when, well, another thing, too, is one of my aspects, right? So if I defeat a frozen target, I'll gain class ability energy. And for me, that's like a huge one. 
another one. Let me go ahead and throw that out. Cause damage with my melee. So you'll notice, guys, that when I cause damage with my nade, right, um, the longer the nade's out, the more it hits targets, you're going to get melee energy. And the melee energy feeds into grenade. Grenade feeds, you know, and it, it's just uh, back and forth. Boom. And then you just keep it going, just like that. Uh, I think it's a really good build. I'm very excited to use it in GMs because this is actually one of my GM builds that uh, I had thought of for a little bit and I was really like, I don't know. Um, but I think that if you play with it, you'll really enjoy it. I know that I will. Um, I always enjoy the builds I make even if people don't themselves enjoy it. Uh, at the end of the day, I do make these builds just for me, but I love sharing it with people and uh, I love creating content. So yeah, if you guys have a suggestion, a build that you did yourself, I would love to hear it. Leave it down in the comments and I hope you guys have a great day.